Hey everyone, SafeLocked here on behalf of the League team. Today, we wanna to share some of our upcoming plans for events, game modes, and skins. Let's start with the upcoming summer event. Back in January, Viego, the Ruin King, returned to Runeterra. He defeated Senna and Lucian, and since then, the stakes have been slowly rising. Starting next week, we'll follow the rise of the Sentinels as they band together with new and familiar faces against Viego and make a last stand to save Runeterra from Ruin. This event will be a big one, spanning across all of the Riot games. After Spirit Blossom, we heard how much you enjoyed these more immersive events in the client, and so we'll be doing something similar for Sentinels of Light. Additionally, this event will be based in core canonical lore. Every skin, story, and moment you experience in the MOBA will be moving the story of Runeterra and its champions forward, which is something we know you've wanted for a long time. This won't always be the case for our big events. Each year, we'll explore different directions to help them stand out on their own, rather than continuing a pattern. No matter what it looks like, we hope those of you who enjoyed Spirit Blossom will be excited for Sentinels of Light and whatever 2022 might bring, and so on. And with that, let's jump into game modes. When it comes to game modes, we believe modes that amplify champion fantasies are a sweet spot. For example, in Earth, we amplify fantasies by asking, what if my champion could cast all the time? And one for all, we ask, what if my champion could stack with itself? We've been running game modes like this alongside every event, but we know it's been a while since we've tried something new. So today, I'm happy to say that we're launching a brand new game mode alongside the Sentinels of Light event. This mode started with a different question. Which ultimate would you steal to pull off the wombo combo of your dreams? The result is Ultimate Spellbook. In Ultimate Spellbook, you get to choose another champion's ult from three different options. You'll still get your ultimate as usual, and your new ult will take the place of one of your summoner spells. This means you'll be able to use it after a short initial cooldown. Have you ever wanted three gap closers on Nasus? Or to double snipe an enemy? Maybe you just want someone to finally feel for you. No matter your dream, this is your time to shine. We can't wait to see all the crazy combos you all come up with. And with that, let's hand things over to Ambriel, who's going to talk a little bit about skins. Hi everyone, I'm Ambriel, and I'm the product lead for the skins team, filling in for Bellissimo. We have a lot to talk about, so let's jump right into it. Because we're making more and more skins every year, it's important that we find new thematics you're all really excited about. So this year, we wanted to explore some new worlds and expand on a few smaller ones. One of our biggest new thematics so far has been Space Groove, and we gotta say, you were all really vibing with this one. We took a bit of a risk here, as Space Groove doesn't really look or sound like anything we've done before. But you all seem to really love the fresh new approach, so we'll be revisiting this groovy galaxy in the future. While not a brand new thematic, bees were a hit. During development, our team was excited about them, but we were still surprised by just how much you loved them. So you can definitely expect to see more bees buzzing onto the rift at some point. One new thematic that didn't go as well as we'd hoped was Lunar Beasts. Sometimes we try something new and it just doesn't hit the mark. So next year, along with an old favorite, you can expect a new skin line to celebrate the Lunar New Year. When Lunar Beasts first launched, we saw a lot of questions around why there was a Lunar Beast Misfortune skin for Wild Rift, but not for League PC. Then Wild Rift launched their first debut thematic with Stargazer. So let's talk about it. League PC and Wild Rift are both League of Legends but they're also unique experiences, and that's something we want to be really mindful of. These games don't have the same champions, and which champions recently got a skin will also be different. Plus, early data is confirming that folks who prefer to play League on mobile have different tastes than those of us who prefer to play on PC. For example, even though Lunar Beast didn't resonate with PC players that well, it's one of Wild Rift's most popular skin lines so far. With all this in mind, sometimes League PC and Wild Rift will explore totally different thematics. Other times we'll collaborate on the same thematic, but maybe we'll choose different champions. Or maybe we'll launch the same skins, but they just look a little bit different between games. The same thing applies to the new Legends of Runeterra champion skins. You can expect to see more skins that debut in Wild Rift and Legends of Runeterra. That doesn't mean they'll never come to PC, but it's also not a sure thing that they will. It all depends on how the skin is received, and more importantly, if we think there's potential for it to do well in another game compared to any other skin we could make. During the thematic vote in January, you all chose Crime City Nightmare as the new thematic you'd like to see. 
Debonair 2.0 came in at a close second, so we decided to make them both. First up is Crime City Nightmare, the dark and mysterious Cthulhu-inspired cityscape. Since January, we've made a lot of progress on building out this world. This means everything from shape language to color schemes and determining just how many spooky eyeballs is too many. Today, we're ready to share the final concepts for Akali and Twisted Fate. In these pieces, you can really see how we've played around with how each champion can fully embrace their eldritch power during high points of their gameplay. Right now, we're working on bringing these designs along with three other skins into the game. If everything goes as planned, the dark underbelly of Valoran City will make itself known next month. Then later this year, Debonair 2.0 will tell the story of champions vying for powerful elixirs in a modern noir world. We're still early on in development for exploring this opulent universe, but are excited about the progress we've made in landing their VFX in a really fresh space. Before we go, we wanted to say a quick word on skins overall. We've been keeping up a pretty good pace these days, and we're on track to hit over 140 skins this year. As a part of that effort, we've made more skins for underserved champions. And while there's always more work to do, one name has been coming up more often than others, and that's Kane. While we're not ready to share a concept just yet, we can confirm that Kane has a new skin in development, and we're looking forward to getting it into your hands later this year. That's all we have for today. As always, thanks so much for being the players that make all of this possible, and we'll see you next time.